Hey, hey, Sammy Do back at you. I know it's been a while. And I bet you're saying, Sammy Do, where are you? Well, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an update on that. I know it's been quite a minute. And uh, right now I'm going to get a massage. So I'll be back with you as soon as I'm done there. Sammy Do, live from Precious World Studios. Doing it again. Dropping another golden nugget. Hey, Sammy Do back at you and welcome back to the Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. And I just finished getting this massage, man, feeling so much better. Uh, I told you, I'll give you an update about where I've been. I know you're like, Sammy Do, where are you? Where you been, man? I, yeah, you haven't been putting out any videos. I haven't been seeing you. What's going on? Did you drop dead? Did COVID get you? Well, let me... Uh, answer uh some questions on some of that because uh i've actually kind of been absent at least on social media and mostly doing these videos uh since 2019 and i initially had took some time off to take care of some health issues man i haven't been able to sleep through the night in like 15 years and that was due to uh some prostate issues I'm dealing with. I had a had a large prostate that uh, kept me from being able to relieve myself properly and fully, and continue to have irritation there. And just got to a point where um, you know, after I had a, 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 a bit of a heart attack situation, and the chronic fatigue was really catching up with me, I definitely was not feeling social whatsoever and uh just had to got to a point i needed to deal with that and in the course of dealing with that um there surfaced uh, some additional issues that uh almost put me near death uh had put me on some meds that uh, i had an adverse reaction to and uh nearly died uh <laughs> again i guess um that's why i'm not really big on the medicines and things of that nature and the bad thing about this was this was just kind of an experiment to see if this would help me with uh, my getting up at night and uh yeah, obviously it did not and made things much 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 worse um and um so i had to obviously go through some recovery on dealing with that getting my life back and and then uh, soon after that, man, uh, that took, took me through the balance of 2019 and I'm ready to kind of get going in 2020 and then, you know, COVID hit. And uh, in this business and with my conscience, I wasn't about to mentor and coach anybody to go into people's houses in a pandemic. Uh, that's just didn't sit, didn't sit well with my conscience. And even I had to kind of take a step back from the activities I have been involved in because we need to kind of learn a little bit more about what this pandemic situation is. And um, I also, you know, with my high risk type situations, I didn't want to be up in anybody's houses <laughs> uh, with all that going on, not, not knowing a whole lot about uh, this, this COVID-19 situation. Uh, of course, learned a lot of it, learned a lot about it. Um, and uh, uh, we're able to kind of get through it. And so, uh, <clears throat> you know, 2021, we're here. And uh, just as I was going to get things going again, uh, I actually lost my brother uh, unexpectedly. He, he, my brother was only 52. He was younger than me. And um, that, that only happened just to you know, a few months ago, and that that was pretty painful, and it took some time to get myself back right. I'm still not really right, but uh, I can't just waddle in in the morning of it. But I, I lost my younger brother 
uh, due to some unexpected health issue that surfaced up on him, uh, probably due to more of him neglecting himself and serving everybody else, which is a learning lesson for me uh, to make sure you got to take care of yourself before you can take care of anybody else. Uh, hard lesson is, you know, when you're in the business of serving and giving yourselves for others, um, sometimes you can put yourself at risk by neglecting things that your body is telling you, especially once you get above that 50 year old mark. So, um, just dealing with that situation. I'm looking past that now, ready to get, uh, get it back going. A lot of the states are starting to open back up and um, I want to kind of give you guys a heads up that uh, I've still been around. I just, uh, and I had still been doing some business and I've got a couple other things outside of the real estate as well uh, that I focused on. And uh, I just was not feeling social. Uh, you know, also keep in mind one of the things I was dealing with was depression and many times you, did, you got these medications coming on that a lot of those things were kind of triggering my old depression issues then my brother's passing kind of happened and that kind of helped trigger the fever of things and just needed to take some time so right now just kind of continue to pray for me as I come as I push through this these are just you know issues of life you got to go through and I'm going through it but uh, I want to let you know the real estate wholesale helpline is back and this is a season this is the season really to really be getting involved in the real estate business um, there is more to real estate than just wholesaling and so even though uh, i found that real estate wholesale helpline that's just more of a title because we actually talk more than just wholesaling we we there there are multiple real estate strategies out there that uh, can be deployed depending on the circumstances, depending on the numbers. And uh, wholesaling is only one strategy. And uh, I can tell you with the season that we're in now, um, with coming out of this pandemic and the and, and, uh, real estate situation is happening, you got a bunch of folks headed towards foreclosure uh, because they're lifting up the moratoriums and things of that nature uh, there's going to be a lot of inventory being dumped that we need to snatch but uh, also keep in mind that wholesaling is probably not the strategy that's going to necessarily be deployed in this particular season but there could still be a lot of business so if you want to learn more about it I would suggest you uh, uh, you know continue to subscribe to this channel like this video uh you know all the social media things subscribe like follow all that kind of stuff but also there's a link in the description uh that you can set up a a, a free 30 minute consult with me and um we can sit and kind of talk about the business if you haven't got your first deal yet or you're looking to still get your first or second deal and um, you really, really uh, want that mentorship, that coaching, you can set up an appointment with me, that link on the description, we can kind of talk about a long-term uh, coaching arrangement, a mentoring arrangement. Um, I, I only do a handful because I'm still in the business myself and trying to mentor folks while you're still trying to do the business is not the easiest thing, but I do like uh, helping folks and serving others as I've talked about earlier. Uh, just so you know, I know a lot of folks always talk about, uh, man, why are you always wearing them sunglasses? Well, I wear these sunglasses because I'm in Texas. <laughs> Texas got a lot of sun. The sunlight lives here. So, uh, but that's just so you can see my eyes and see that I'm real. I'm here and Sammy Do is back. <laughs> so, uh, hit me up, feel free, set an appointment. Check out some of my other uh, videos because I don't I don't talk about all the different strategies in my videos because that's not the struggle that I find most people have in trying to start their real estate business. Uh, the struggle I see most people have in trying to start their real estate business is really 
understanding the business and the mindsets that goes into the business and, and, and keeping it going. Uh, mentorship is also very, very important in this type of business. Uh, as much as, 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 as it is in any uh, many other professions, you know, nobody in, in sincere, true prof professionalism gets there without having help from someone else. Even doctors go through an internship. You know, police officers have a field training officer uh, before they're released to be on the streets. Um, there's all kind of professions. Even as a real estate agent, you've got to work with a broker uh, for several years. Uh, before you can actually have your own brokerage, before you can have your own uh, real realtor agency. So just keep in mind, mentorship, coaching is very, very important in many uh, professions, and this is definitely one. So if you're interested, uh, check me out. I'm back. I'm kind of slowly getting back, but I'm back. Uh, Got to start somewhere, and this is where I'm starting. Like I said, you can set up an appointment with me. You just find the link in the description of this video, and uh, we can we can wrap, chop it up, and uh, see if we'll be a fit for helping you out. Until then, see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. <laughs> God bless. Hey, Sammy, do the do rude back at you. Hey, uh, are you smelling what I'm cooking? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? You like these golden nuggets that we are dropping at you? Well, if you do, please like the video that you just seen. Also, subscribe to this platform. You can do that by hitting the red uh, subscribe now button somewhere here or there. Uh, look for it, hit the subscribe button. Uh, that would encourage me to continue to put out uh, more content like this and uh, check out my library of other videos as well. Also, <laughs> don't forget, if you need to set your appointment, the link is in the description, Real Estate Wholesale Helpline. And until then, I will see you at the top because the bottom sure is crowded. God bless Sammy. Doom, doom, doom. Out.